Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a somewhat of a challenge. I'm pretty sure I didn't make this challenge up by myself and I don't know who the original creator of it was, but if you know them, give them some credit. I have realized that to become a booktuber, you need books. <laughs> and while I do have books, I am not always capable of buying all the new books that I want to read every single month. And so I was looking at the books that I do have on my shelves and I thought, why don't I do a to be reread jar? So I cleaned out a little spaghetti sauce jar and cut up a whole bunch of papers and I wrote down all the names of the books that I have read, that I haven't gotten to read yet, don't want to read, couldn't really get through, and I put them all in here. So <laughs> this is going to be just like a little side quest TBR, I guess, until I can get some new books. I really, really hope that this goes well. I hope I don't get stuck with a book that I really just don't want to read. Because <laughs> there's nothing wrong with the books that I have. It's just I'm finding out what I like more and more as I get new books. And what I really have found out that I like the most is gothic, romance, paranormal, horror. I don't know how, I mean, if there was like an umbrella term for that, that would be great. But for right now, I'm just gonna say gothic horror. Okay, let's go ahead and shuffle the jar, I guess. These are all at random. They're all sticking together. So I guess I'm just gonna shake it up. They're all just sticking together. <laughs> let's open it up. I can't see what I'm picking. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I don't really need an excuse to reread this book, but I'm so glad that I got to pick it because I just finished this, I think, last month, and Gallant is the most... Oh my gosh, that's what's actually made me realize that I love gothic horror so much more than any other genre. I am very excited, not reluctant at all, to give this another read because you always miss stuff on the first go. So... Reading it in a, a second time, I don't really mind that. So let's put the lid on, shake it up again as best as we can. Okay. Huh! Okay! This is a book by, it's actually a graphic novel by Art Spiegelman. This is one of the first books that my school sent to me to read. And I don't think it, it, it was never for an assignment or a review or like an analysis or anything. But I would say that Mouse is the most heart-wrenching graphic novel book I have ever read. It's about World War II. It's about everything that happened with concentration camps and you get to see it from the perspective of um, an older gentleman who lived through it and his son um, art interviews him and makes a collection of the stories that he tells him of having to survive through all of those years and it's very traumatic it is very sad very informative and honestly a masterpiece. Everyone should read that one, I'm just saying. So let's close it up again. Maybe I'll just pick three, I don't know, it depends on what th this next one is. So let's, let's see what we got. This one. Oh, yes! Okay, this one is Heart Shaped Box by Joe Hill, which is his pen name. I can't think of his real name right now, but he is the son of Stephen King. Um, I first read Heart Shaped Box when I was in high school, and it's a ghost story. It's it it really shaped my love for horror because it's graphic and violent and paranormal. It's a ghost story, but it's I don't know. I think I fell in love with it because I went through my Nirvana phase from, I don't know, I, like 10 to 17, I think. So, can you call it a phase if it lasts for seven years? 
very ready to read it again. <sighs> Should I do another one? Okay, let's go. I don't want to just like pick the first one that my fingers touch either. This one is called Play Dead and I don't know anything about it. I guess this is something, I mean, this is one of the ones that I'm going to read for the first time because these other three right here, I've already read. So let's take the four that we chose. We're going to empty out all the other papers and we're going to put these four in here. Narrow down which book I should read first. So the book I'm going to read first is Heart Shaped Box. I'm excited about it. It's been raining a lot lately. That's why it's so humid and it is very, very hot in this house. But Heart Shaped Box, I guess you're the winner. And I wouldn't necessarily call this like a reading challenge. It's just more, I guess, a fun thing to do whenever you really don't have any new books to read. Granted, there are books in here that I haven't read, but they're not ones that I would actually like pick out first because most of them have the same kind of plot. Oh my God. <laughs> so these are the four books. First one is Mouse. There's just certain things about it that make it so involving and emotion provoking. I think that this is just a really heartfelt and very sad story. It's so informative to see what they had to go through personally. I hope you give it a read. And then we have Gallant by V.E. Schwab, one of my favorite books. This has become one of my favorites. I don't think I'll let anybody borrow it. <laughs> because I would just be so torn up inside if something happened to it. I'm glad to give that another read. Play Dead. I don't know anything about it. Let's read it. Theirs was a marriage made in tabloid heaven, but no sooner had supermodel Laura Ayers and Celtic star David Baskin said, I do, than tragedy struck. While honeymooning on Australia's Great Barrier Reef, David went out for a swim and never returned. <gasps> bum, bum, bum! Now widowed and grieving, Laura has a thousand questions and no answers. Her search for the truth will draw her into a web of lies and deception that stretches back 30 years. While on the court at the Boston Garden, a rookie phenom, phenom? phenom makes his spectacular debut. So, okay, I'm looking forward to it. And then my very decrepit copy of Heart Shaped Box. Oh, you, you doing acrobats? What you doing? This is my cat, Ralph. Goodbye, Ralph. But this is a book that I'm really looking forward to reading again. The ghost story, and it follows like this ex-band guy who's super grungy and, oh, no, talk to me. I'm too emotionally damaged. I know, it's kind of an overdone trope, but it's different. It's way different than other horror books that I've read. It's the perfect amount of ghostly and edgy and eerie and I am just really excited to read it again. So these are all of the books that I'm going to try to reread this month, and these are gonna be apart from a May to be read video. I'm actually gonna try to go online and find some books that I really wanna read this month and put those in a May haul video, or like a May to be read. I recently just found one on Amazon that I really, really, really wanted to read and it had a really beautiful cover, but it was, 200 and some dollars. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.